today I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But we can combine blocks and mobs. So, for example, if I spawn in an iron golem and I surround it in these purple crystal blocks, then when I throw this potion... It combines them into one OP crystal golem. Oh my gosh, this video's gonna be crazy. Anyway, Sparky, are you ready to get this mob battle started? I sure am, Cardi. Let's do this. All right, let's go. Let the mob battle begin. And now that the mob battle's officially begun, we can start off by cheating with this massive one-way glass wall. And this is gonna allow us to see exactly what mob Sparky places down. And it looks like he's actually starting off by placing his blocks in. And it looks like that's a jack-o'-lantern. Turn. And wait, he spawned an Enderman next to the Jack-O-Lantern. I guess this is gonna turn into some sort of Jack-O-Lantern Enderman. And wait, he's throwing the potion. And did it work? And oh my gosh, it definitely worked. Look at this thing. What on earth? Okay, so I guess it just took the Enderman and it made it into some sort of weird scarecrow monster. And look, the Jack-O-Lantern's on his head. That thing is creepy. And look, it can swim in lava, apparently. It looks like it's fire resistant. And wait, I think the scarecrow's trying to attack Sparky and oh, it looks like it sets him on fire and oh, Sparky's already dead. Well, that's pretty bad for me. Sparky is a super, super strong mob. But of course, we're gonna spawn in an even stronger mob since I have some crazy mobs planned for this video. For my first mob, I actually want to start off with a mutant zombie because mutant zombies are an extremely, extremely strong mob by themselves and they have some crazy smash attacks. And then the blocks I'm actually gonna combine it with is mushrooms. Now I'm gonna try and make a mutant mushroom that turns alive. So right now I'm just making a giant mushroom out of blocks. And there we go. This thing's looking pretty good. This is definitely going to turn into a strong mob. And Mr. Zombie, you need to come a little closer so I can throw the potion. Okay, let me just put a chain on this guy like this. And there we go. They're now next to each other. And now when we throw this potion, it should create a muted mushroom. Let's do this. And did it work? And oh my, what is this? Okay, so it looks like it definitely turned into a mushroom. And this thing's actually walking around right now. And wait a second. I just punched it and it turned invisible. But you can still kind of see the outlines of its eyes and everything. And look, now it's back to normal. Normal. What on earth is this magic thing? And what? It's spawning in endermites and these little birds too? Okay, we have a super, super, super cool magical mob for this first round. Let's see if this thing has any cool attacks. Let's go in survival mode and wait. It's just running away from me. Uh, Mr. Mushroom, do you do anything? And whoa, it just launched me in the air. And oh, it's like a trampoline. Wait, this is gonna be so powerful because this thing's just gonna be able to launch Sparky's mobs up in the air and make them do a bunch of fall damage. And honestly, I think... I think our army's already ready. I think just one of these guys is gonna be enough to take down Sparky's army. And uh-oh. Speaking of Sparky's army, he just spawned in a lot and a lot more of his mob. Okay, well, since he has this many mobs, I still think we're gonna be able to win just because our mushroom is so powerful. Sparky, how is your army going on this first round? My army is doing fantastic. I combined an Enderman and a Jack-O-Lantern, and it made something pretty cool. Wait, that sounds pretty cool. You're right. But what I combined is a muted zombie and some mushrooms. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, so you have a zombified mushroom, okay. Yeah, basically. But anyways, I think my mom's gonna be a lot stronger than yours, and I'm gonna win this first round. Oh, we'll see, Cardi, we'll see. Let's drop the walls in three, two, one. Let the battle begin, and oh man, do you see my zombie mushroom? Whoa, that's pretty cool. I wonder, I wonder what it tastes like. Yeah, probably wouldn't taste that good if I were to imagine because this thing has zombie parts in it. Hey, did you spawn that phantom too? No, my mob just spawns mobs. Whenever it takes damage, it just spawns mobs. Whoa, that's awesome. All right, let's see how this works. And wait, our mobs are starting to fight now, Sparky. And look, all of your scarecrow things are chasing my mushroom, but it actually went invisible. Well, I don't think they can actually take damage while it's invisible. Yeah, I guess so. And wait a second, do you see our mobs? They just started flying out of nowhere. Wait, who taught you how to fly? You're not supposed to fly. Wait, I think that's my mom's attack and wait, they're coming down and oh my gosh, they just all took a bunch of fall damage. Let's have one of those levitation effects that some of those chokers have. Yeah, why don't you go to survival mode near this thing to see if you will fly? Alright, let's see. Hello, Mr. Mob. Can you make me fly? And wait, it just made you fly! This is awesome! Yeah, that's pretty cool but you gotta make sure you land on that and I hope you just died. I did just die. Okay, anyways, are you ready to go on to round two. Yes, I am. Let's do this. And boom, now we are on round two. 
you. But don't leave because as the video goes on, the mobs are going to get crazier and crazier. So you guys are going to have to see this. But just like we do at the beginning of each round, let's see what Sparky's going to spawn in. And it looks like he's placing bone blocks, huh? And wait, he's spawning wolves. Wait, this is actually pretty funny because wolves actually love bones so much. But what is this going to turn into? I mean, uh, I guess maybe like a skeleton wolf thing. I don't really know, but I guess Sparky's going to throw the potion. And he's throwing it. And oh my goodness, I was right 100%. This thing just turned into a skeleton dog. And oh, this is a weird skeleton dog. It almost looks like a dragon with how crazy it looks. But I can imagine this thing is powerful and Sparky's actually giving it some bones right now. Does he think this is a real dog? Because this is definitely not a real dog. If you are in survival mode near this thing, you would definitely die and wait. He just picked it up. Okay, well, while he picks that up and runs around, I guess we'll get to spawning in our mob. Let's see. What should I spawn? And ooh, I've actually got a good idea. So I got this thing called a driver. And as you guys can see, this guy's just a crazy little iron golem creature that has a gun. And look, he's just shooting the floor right now. I don't know why he's doing that. But anyways, it's gonna be super, super strong. But then the block I'm gonna combine this guy with is furnaces. And what I'm hoping this can actually do is create some sort of mech suit for this little driver. And then he'll be a driver that's driving a mech suit. And it's gonna be super, super strong. Let me just finish putting all these furnaces around and let's throw this combined potion. And did it work? And oh my goodness, it definitely worked. Look at this thing. And oh man, it looks like it has a furnace on its body. And wait, look at this little window. The little guy that I started with is in there. Oh, that's actually really funny. But this mech suit is absolutely insane. And it looks like it even has a rocket launcher on its back. Wait, I gotta go in survival mode to fight this thing. And what on earth? Look at this. And wait, it just fired a rocket at me and oh it just fired another rocket at me this thing just killed me in like two seconds oh yes this thing is so strong this is gonna allow us to absolutely destroy sparky's army of just a single skeleton dog look he's placing even more bone blocks now i guess he's trying to make some sort of house for his mob well anyway sparky is your army ready oh yes i am cardi my mob is definitely gonna rattle your mob's bones well unfortunately for you my mob doesn't even have bones sparky yet wait since you're talking about bones, do you have some sort of skeleton mob? Uh, I might, I might. Wait, if your mob doesn't have bones, does that mean it's, it's a slime? No, my mob is not a slime. It's a giant machine, Sparky. Oh, okay, okay. I guess metal's a type of bone. Uh, not really, Sparky. And anyways, are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am. Let's do this! And boom, the walls have dropped and our mobs are starting to fight each other. Whoa, what kind of robot is that? This is a giant mech suit and inside you can actually see a tiny little guy controlling it. Oh, all right. I see what you did. And I can't believe your mob's actually taking up a beating right now. And, oh, it actually just died as I was saying that. Huh. Well, I guess you got the jinx right there, huh, Cardi? Yeah, I guess so. And that was so fast. I cannot believe that I just won the mob battle around that quickly. Oh, your mob has a lot of health. I'm doing punches and it's barely doing anything to its health. Yeah, but I think if we actually instant kill this with a mob killer, you can see it actually has a second life and this little driver guy comes out. Yo, Oh, he's loaded. I know he has a gun. And anyways, are you ready to go on to the third round, Sparky? I sure am. Let's go. And here we go. Round three has now begun. But remember, guys, things are just getting started. We still have some crazy mobs planned. And anyways, let's not waste time. What is Sparky spawning this round? And it looks like he might be building an iron golem right now. He's building the structure of that. And then I guess once he builds a few of these structures, he's gonna put pumpkins on top of them. And wait, look at this. Now he's putting a bunch of shulkers around him. Oh. Oh, I think I know what he's doing. He's building iron golems, and then he's gonna combine them with shulker blocks. Okay, that's pretty cool. I wonder what these are gonna turn into. And wait, he's throwing the potion! And oh my, that actually worked. And there's only one of these mobs, but this thing looks absolutely crazy. So since he combined it with a shulker box, it actually turned into a bunch of different end blocks, and it has these weird purple crystals powering it. And wait, look at its head. Its head is made out of a shulker box. That is so cool. And oh my goodness, look at these attacks it's doing to Sparky right now. Look at this thing walk. I mean, just the walk is scary enough, but that attacks, it just made crystals come out of the ground. That was insane. And now he's just punching the floor. Sparky doesn't even want to fight this thing. He's just 
digging under the floor and oh yes let's go wait why am i saying let's go that is not good for me this thing is extremely strong but that means we're just gonna have to make our own very very strong boss to counter this and what i'm actually gonna do is spot in some rattlesnakes and normally rattlesnakes are pretty weak but they do have a pretty cool poisonous attack here let me just show you if you punch them they'll all attack you and give you poison but just these guys alone there is no way they're gonna be able to take out that ender guardian on sparky's side so what i'm gonna do is put a bunch of uranium blocks around these snakes and if you didn't know uranium is basically an extremely nuclear block that has radioactive stuff in it so when i throw the combined potion we should be able to get some super super cool radioactive snake and it should be able to do a bunch of damage and have some really cool stuff a part of it and anyways let's not waste any more time let's throw this combined potion and did this work and oh yes it worked look at these snakes now not only did they just get a bunch and a bunch bigger they just started to grow multiple heads like look at this guy he has three heads and he's red and then there's also some green snakes and oh man this is gonna be so so powerful and wait i just figured something out every time you hit one of these snakes one of their heads gets chopped off but then it grows back with even more heads so look at this guy he has four of his heads now wait let's hit him again and the, oh man he just grew back another head and now he has five heads and i just hit him again and now he has six heads okay this is just a crazy radioactive snake right here well since we have all of these mobs this is gonna be super super cool and it's definitely gonna take down this ender guardian and what is sparky doing he's putting these weird purple radioactive blocks around his mob i guess even his mob is gonna have some radioactive traits to it but anyway sparky my mob army is ready what about yours my mob army is currently charging in a special radioactive cave wait that sounds super cool and wait did you say radioactive i also had some radioactive blocks a part of my mob yo that's awesome i can't wait to see what'll happen now yeah i can't wait to see this mob battle let's drop these walls at three two one and look the battle is beginning and all of our mobs are attacking each other whoa i didn't know your mobs could have like several heads that's so cool they must be super smart i know and they're even spitting this crazy green acid onto your mob and i think i'm actually winning right now Ooh, all right well uh, let's see what happens is my mob lifting one of yours yeah i think so my mob was just levitating there for a second whoa that is awesome look What's that green stuff? Is that acid? Yeah, that's the acid that my snake spits out and is basically just completely doing so much damage to your Ender Guardian. Oh, no. My Ender Guardian has some pretty cool moves. Did you see that purple one? That's awesome. Yeah, I can make, like, purple crystals come out of the ground and wait. Now he's doing a massive smash and he almost knocked my guys off. He's in phase two. Oh, no. Phase two. That means he's gonna be even stronger. Come on, snakes. You have to do some crazy attacks right now. And this is getting really, really close now. Your Ender Guardian's about to die. And, oh, speaking of dying, I think it just died. No, my Ender Guardian, why? Well, I guess I just won another round. Man, you really need to step up your game, Sparky. I'm just on a crazy win streak right now. Did he drop a gun? Yeah, I guess he did drop some sort of gun. And anyways, are you ready to go on to round number four? I sure am. Let's go. And here we go. We are on round four. And this is where the mob battle really begins. Because my last two mobs for these final two rounds are the craziest mobs you will ever see in your life and let's not waste any time i want to see these mobs and anyways let's first start off with seeing what sparky's gonna spawn in and what are these things it looks like he's placing some sort of weird space void blocks huh that's pretty cool but i wonder what mob he's gonna pair with that and wait he's just placing a bunch of plants around this why is he placing plants and oh those are not just plants those are his mob i guess he spawned in these really cool piranha plant mobs which are actually gonna be super super crazy once he combines that with the void blocks and anyway Anyways, he's throwing the potion. And oh no, this is not good for me. What is this? I guess those weird piranha plants when combined with a void block turned into a giant mutant tentacle. Wait, I wonder what kind of attacks this thing has. And oh, speaking of attacks, I guess Sparky just went in survival mode and I guess we're finding out. It looks like the tentacle just wails around and grabs Sparky and throws him around and does tons and tons of damage. Okay, that is really cool, but bad for us since that does so much damage. And anyways, let's get to spawning in our mob. I want to actually use the same exact
exact void block that Sparky used. But instead of combining it with a piranha plant, let's combine it with an even stronger mob. So let's choose a mutant enderman. Okay, that should be pretty cool. So let's put the mutant enderman on top and oh, it is teleported away. Okay, let's just spawn in a few of these mutant endermen around here and let's throw this combined potion. And oh yes, look at our mob. This is what I call a crazy mob. So it looks like it took the eyes and the head from the mutant enderman, but then it used these void blocks to create some crazy space texture on his body. And for some reason, it has six arms just like an insect. Oh man, this is crazy. And it's also spawning in a bunch of these tiny little pillager mobs. So that way we're gonna have some really good ranged attacks with all of these guys' crossbows. There is no way just this tiny little tentacle is gonna be able to take down our entire army of pillagers and a giant arch vessel monster. And speaking of army, Sparky, you know what time it is. My army is ready. Is your army ready? Oh, yes. My army is ready. It's just one mob, but I think it's more than enough. Wait, what block did you use to combine? Because I used a void block. Ooh, I used that too. Wait, we both used void blocks. Okay, well, anyways, are you ready to drop the walls and let round four begin? Yes, I am. Let's do this. Let's go and oh man, look at my mob. Whoa, what do you use to combine that? That is a lot of pillagers. Well, like I said, I used the void block, but I combined it with a mutant enderman and oh, speaking of mutant enderman, this thing is absolutely destroying your tentacle right now. Oh, I one shot at it. Wait, yeah, you're right. Your mob is already dead right now. I did not expect to win that round that quickly. Wait, your pillagers are fighting the giant ribcage you made. Oh man, they're all turning on each other. Uh, guys, can you stop? The round is already won. Well, anyways, I guess we just get to move on to round five, which is the final round. Are you ready? Oh, I sure am. Let's go. And now we're on the final round, and I'm not even gonna say anything. Let's just see what Sparky's gonna spawn, and then we can get to spawning in our mob. And yeah, I have the craziest mob planned for this, so if we lose this round, something is definitely gonna be wrong. And anyways, what is he even placing? It looks like he's placing some sort of black dirt right now. And wait, he's spawning a crocodile on top. Wait, what is he doing? There's even a bunch of tiny little baby crocodiles. That's pretty funny. But he's holding his potion, and I guess he's gonna throw that right now. Let's see what this turns into. And it looks like that actually worked pretty well for Sparky, because now he has a bunch of these super cool black alligators. And oh, man, look at that. Their eyes are also turned red, so I think these guys have just gone evil. I bet they do so much damage. But don't worry, guys. Like I said, we basically have a 0% chance to lose this round, because I have my craziest mob yet, and oh, man, look Look, Sparky's getting attacked right now. Well, anyways, let's spawn in our mob. And the mob I'm spawning in is these crazy wolves and dogs. But these are not just normal wolves. These are insane mutant wolves. And as you can see, this thing has like 20 eyes and a giant eye coming out the top of its head. And it even has three tails. Oh, man, that is so cool. But what I'm gonna combine this with is actually a dragon tooth. And we're gonna try and make this insane mutant dog into an insane mutant dragon. And that should allow us to just give us an instant win for this final round. Everything is ready, so let's get our combined potion and let's combine these things. And oh yes, let's go. We have a crazy insane dinosaur right now. And I was actually expecting it to turn into a dragon, but I'm not even mad. A dinosaur is just as good. And it even has these massive horns and these crazy red eyes. And oh, that's not even mentioning how sharp this thing's teeth are. Well, let's go. I guess we just got an instant win. This thing is so big and it should be able to just eat up all of these tiny little black alligators. Anyway, Sparky, are you ready to just start this final round? I'm gonna destroy you! Oh no, Cardi, I think I'm gonna destroy you. I made a bunch of robot crocodiles. Robot crocodiles? That sounds pretty cool, Sparky. Well, anyways, let's drop the walls in three, two one. Let's go and oh yeah, your robot crocodiles are now nothing compared to my giant dinosaur. Whoa, that's awesome. It almost looks like a dragon. I know, that's because I actually combined it with dragon teeth and I started with an insane mutant dog. And wait, everything's starting to attack each other now and oh, do you really still think you're gonna be able to win this, Sparky? I mean, like, look how much damage. That's so much damage my crocodiles are doing. I mean, a little bit of damage, but it looks like my mom can also spawn in tornadoes 
damage too. Whoa, come on, that's so unfair. Oh, you just threw mine off. Oh my, and now you only have two of these tiny crocodiles left, and they're just opening and closing their mouth right now. I think they're talking to each other. They're probably trying to make a plan. Oh, maybe, but this is not the time to be talking. You're supposed to be fighting, guys. Come on, come on, guys. If you make a good plan, I think you could win, probably. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna be able to win, Sparky. All the mobs are attacking each other now. No! Oh, no, there's only one left, and no. Yeah, just a single one left is definitely not gonna win. Come on, finish him off, dinosaur! Come on, he could beat him. I believe it. Never mind. Yeah, he definitely did not win. And anyways, I just won the entire mob battle. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess it is normal for my crocodiles to definitely be killed by that thing you made. Yeah, you gotta really get some better mobs for the next mob battles. But anyways, since I won, the video's now over. And make sure everyone watching to click the video on the screen. And also subscribe to the channel. Click the video on the screen. Subscribe. Bye.